Hello, my name is Josh Salinger and I am the founder of Bird's Mouth Design Build. We are a design build company located in Portland, Oregon. We're going to be showing some examples of some projects in the upcoming months. And uh, this particular one here that I'm standing in front of is an accessory dwelling unit, which otherwise known as an ADU. This is a typical single family home that you would see in Portland. And we're gonna be building an 800 square foot building right behind it. So if you come with me, we'll go check it out. This particular building is going to be a zero energy building, so it was designed specifically uh, to have very low energy consumption and be offset, all the energy offset with a solar PV array. Um, the ways that we're able to reduce that energy load are uh, numerous. One of the things that we're starting with is this ICF foundation that's behind me here. Uh, it's insulated concrete form is what that stands for. And what it is is it separates the concrete foundation, the stem wall and the footing from its surrounding environment. So it thermally breaks uh, the inside of the building from the outside environment. A little bit about the ICF itself. So what it is essentially is just two pieces of, this is two and a half inches of EPS foam. So that's expanded polystyrene foam. Same stuff that you'd see in your coffee cup with the little white plastic balls. And these two pieces are connected by this plastic strut here in the middle. And it's designed, so it's got these clips in here that will actually allow us to just clip the rebar directly into it, either on top of it or on the bottom right here. Um, the other thing that it's got, if this strut right here, and we've got a great little cross section right here where we cut it, you can see that the strut has a little plastic flange uh, on the outside here of each side. And what this allows us to do is if we're on the interior here, you can actually attach your drywall or your finishes right to the inside of this uh, EPS foam right here by screwing into this flange right here. And on the exterior, we're gonna have, you know, obviously the foundation, the soil will come up to a certain point, but we don't want to have just this EPS foam exposed right here. So we're going to have a metal uh, piece of stainless steel that we're going to fabricate to put on the outside of the foam here. So here we have the footing that's basically ready to go for the concrete pour. And some of the components to this are, uh, it's essentially got a six inch stem wall right here and a 12 inch footing. And we formed the footing down below with just this two by 12 down here, which will create this you know 12 inch footing here. And on top of that, we've set these insulated concrete forms. Essentially, this wood framing on here is keeping it in place. So as we set the concrete in here and we're putting all that weight in there, it's not gonna cause this foundation to deflect or move as that concrete is being placed. And once that concrete is placed in here, it'll fill up the 12 inch footing along with this six inch stem wall here. And then we will pull off, once it's set, we'll pull all this wood support off. And you actually leave the ICFs in place and it becomes, the form becomes the insulation for the building itself. Today, what the gang is working on is uh, we're setting all the anchor bolts and these are just the bolts that we'll put our sill plate or bottom plate over the top and then that gets ratcheted down on there and that's what holds the building uh, to the foundation. So this is just a temporary piece of wood that uh, gets tied to this bolt. Uh, the bolt's also tied into the rebar here. Uh, and when this gets poured, poured full of concrete, this uh, scrap piece just gets pulled, uh, is disappeared, and then allows us to set our sill plate over the top of that. Uh, as we move on down uh, the ICF form here, there's these two uh, form block outs right here that we just took a two by six. Um, this is a door right here. So this is the main entrance door to the building. And because it's a zero energy home, we want to make sure that we're thermally breaking uh, this door threshold. So what we do is we actually knock this out so you can follow this red line right here. About an inch and a half down is where the concrete will stop right here. It allows us to put some foam down uh, here to break that door threshold from the concrete here and not have any energy losses through thermal bridging going through here. So these little blockouts are just a way for us to lower the concrete here about an inch and a half so we can get our foam thermal break in here. And then we'll set the door on top of that and it allows us to have the interior of the floor be flush to the threshold and then be flush to what will eventually be a deck on the outside here so that we don't have any uh, you know, tripping hazards or anything like that in the final building.
Join us next time as we check out the vaulted foam-free roof assembly, which should have some really interesting components to it that I'm looking forward to showing you. Thank you.